And Juju Smith-Schuster, I think, I, I, I know you feel comfortable here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, but for a Long Beach Poly kid by way of USC uh -huh. to be out here in this weather without anything on other than what you have on, you have truly adapted to the Western PA lifestyle, it seems. Uh, most definitely, man. It's, it's cold out here. Um, and the people in Pittsburgh, they said this, this is the warmest. <laughs> and it's, it's gonna get colder, so um, I mean, I embrace it. You know, throughout practice, I practice with no layers on, trying to embrace the weather. Come out here tonight and perform. Well, what? Uh, how have you been able to be so comfortable so quickly? It's somebody who hasn't even reached his 21st birthday in I mean, this league you yet. Take a lot of uh, negativity. Like he's young, he, he, his routes are not good. He can't finish, and. Uh, you take all that, you put it up, and you, you just bottle it, and you're like, I got to prove people wrong. You know, I make it, uh, how, you, how, how you say, you know, being the small guy on the field, you got to prove everybody wrong that you, you're the bigger man on the field. And that's me every day, you know, and I'm comfortable playing with Big Ben, you know, with Bell and the old lineman. It just fits perfect. Juju, talk to me about this journey to where you are right now. Didn't start, you started out a little slow, but now, now you're playing very, very well. Talk to me about that journey, my game changer. Man, so with that, man, oh, I came in. I was like, you know, I have an opportunity to play slot outside. Uh, you have great guys like Sammy Coach. You have Martavis Bryant. You have AB. You have Eli Rogers. And when you're in the game with, with Ben, those small opportunities that come to you, you got to make you got to make those plays. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm always around him, trying to be his best friend, trying to do everything I can. And uh, like I said, you got to be a game changer on third down. You buddying up with Ben? Is that what you're saying? You're Man, I buddy up with Ben. Whatever he needs, I got it. it. Uh, how's Antonio Brown? Is he okay with that? Uh, how's he been as far as giving you tips at playing the wide receiver position? Man, he, he's a great dude, man. Yeah, he is. I mean, he, he's blessing, man. Even when he's caught that ball over there, I got him on these eyes. like, man, this dude's the GOAT. And, you know, just being that said, he's just a great dude. You know, he all the tips he teaches me before the game, after the game, off the field. And he's just going to say he's just a great guy. Well, give me, a, for example, what has he taught? Give me, give us an example, some details of what exactly he has taught you. So one of the biggest things that, uh, it's kind of funny, but you would think that you never get your nails done, and you put those, those toes spread in between your toes. Okay. And it, it, it creates that separation between your toes where you can grip better. And instead of being like this and flat, it's hard to, you know, you're more balanced when your toes open like this and you grab. I mean, just little stuff like that, it can go a long way, and it's been helping me so, out here. So are you saying, uh, due to Antonio Brown's suggestion, you're sticking cotton balls in between your toes? Oh, yeah, I'm following his footsteps. That's pretty just, good. That's okay. Pretty good. Yeah. I, that would, I don't think that would have been the answer I was going to get from that question. Yeah, Did man, you ever do that, thing. Steve? Did you ever put cotton balls in between your toes for your... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> so, what was it like to go against the Dory today? You know, you had an opportunity. You guys um, played against each other in college, grew up together against yeah. each other in college. Now, growing up uh, as rookies in this league, what was it like to go against uh, basically a brother or a cousin? Yeah, he's pretty much like, like a brother to me. Uh, even in high school, we played against each other. And from there, you know, went to, you know, obviously went to college, USC. Uh, we had an opportunity to play tonight, man. I mean, it was great. I had uh, one or two plays against him. Not so much. He was following AB, but the opportunities I got, man, I try to make the best of it. All right, I got one suggestion. This is national TV. Never again do you tell other people that another man has taught you how to get a, a pedicure, okay? <laughs> You don't discuss that on national TV. I got you. I got All you. All right, appreciate that. <laughs> that's hey, your advice for you. That's my advice for you, Juju. Uh, it, it, when you when you when you're playing, and and this is the thing, you're young, and a lot of young guys don't understand this. And I want to know what your mindset is. They add an extra guy in the box to stop Le'Veon. They then shade AB, and it's up to you to win. And you have been doing the things that that's asked of you. You understand as you continue to move on how those opportunities are going to continue to present itself. What are you doing to make sure that you can make those plays? Like I said, man, staying in my playbook, you know, working with Ben uh, at practice, you know, getting the timing down. And, you know, AB, he, he told me, he was like, bro, like, if they're going to double to me, you're going to have to eat off of my plate. And, like, the opportunities that I get, I make the best of it. And, uh, you know, my team, they believe in me. So, you know, me being a young guy, I got to show them that I'm capable of doing it. All right, let's get into the uh, brass tacks of the bike incident. The famous, <laughs> now internationally the famous, bike. famous bike stolen, uh, stolen bike <laughs> incident. Bike. 
Walk us through it. So one day you go out to go find your bicycle and yeah, it's gone. Yeah, so uh, my mom comes out. She takes the keys. Uh, I can't lock my bike up inside my apartment. Mm -hmm. uh, I lock it up outside behind it. And I wake up the next morning. I got meetings at 11. I'm like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it. You know, I got my bike. I go outside. The bike is gone. Uh, I make this video. I post it. And next thing you know, Pittsburgh just took over it. You know, AB shouted it out. And then uh, Pittsburgh News, from Pittsburgh News to, you know, worldwide social media. <laughs> and so, and then some, somebody bought oh, bike the bike off this. of somebody on the street? Yeah, That's the somebody story said here? he bought it, but I don't think he bought it. He, uh, he turned it in, and he asked for the, uh, you know, the $200 that he, you know, he used the so money to buy. So he did it. ask you did for his money back. Nah, because he, he got arrested two days later for, for stealing more bikes. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was right. I knew I was right. <laughs> <laughs> so d is that what caused you to finally go get your driver's license, or you were doing oh, yeah, that in the middle yeah. of everything? Right yeah, on. I mean, that caused me to. And then, uh, man, so to get to our facility, it's kind of like a little hill. <laughs> yeah. I'd be on my bike, and it gets cold. My ears are freezing. I'm like, I got to get my license soon, man. So that was, so it was the weather and yeah. your bicycle getting stolen that caused you to say, I got to get my license. Yes, most definitely. Who's teaching you how to drive? So Big Al, he's our, uh, our left tackle. Al Villanueva. Yeah, yep. Uh -huh. he's, he's teaching me how to drive, and uh, he taught me how to drive in his truck. And then uh, when I finally got my permit, uh, I was driving a Mini Coupe, and now you know, I'm testing out a Range Rover, something like yeah. <laughs> Something light, huh? <laughs> okay. Hey, go, go put $100 just... on that man bill down there at the jailhouse, man. The man did bring the bike back. Yeah. That's a good thing. He was an honest thief. He was an honest thief. I'm just trying to figure out how you got around Los Angeles without a car. Yeah. How did that go? So at USC, every student had free Uber. Really? Okay. Yeah. Oh, really? Private school, you know, SC. No, we do. What yeah, we do. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Yeah, we know how yeah. you do. Yeah, wink. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. We do wow. <laughs> wow. Because yeah, Leonard, Leonard Williams yeah, didn't have a car like either. Miami, I remember dude. Leonard Williams was drafted by the Jets said he didn't have a car either. Yeah, wow. I yeah. think Free Reggie Uber. Bush didn't have a car either. <laughs> oh. Hey, I got a year of eligibility <laughs> left. This man. I might go to SC to get oh, Free Uber. Oh, my Uber, gosh. Man. All right, let's get, let's get you out of here before you catch yeah. up. all right, man. Yeah, man. Juju, hey, job, thanks for coming. In. Honestly, man. Uh, Thank by, you. Uh, by the way, uh, with you turning 21 next Wednesday, this is the last game of your professional career, which you will not be buying drinks for people afterwards, I would think. No, nah, man. I, yeah, no, nah, I don't drink or smoke, do any of that. You okay. know, I stay clean. Uh, stay, stay humble, man. Gotta keep playing. Trying okay. to get better. Well, happy 21st birthday Thank to you, you in advance. Appreciate it. You yes, bet. Sir.